House Ag Committee Chairman Colin Peterson joining us and listening session today about the farm economy. What do you think is the main thing that needs to be done to keep farmers from going out of business? Well, we have a farm bill that's in place. At the time we did it, I said I didn't think it was going to be adequate. I think I'm right. But at this point, there's no political support to change it or money other than the facilitation payments. So we just have to monitor the situation and see what happens this winter. I think. We've, we've had a double whammy with the bad crop year, the trade war. Do you see an end to the trade war here with China anytime soon? You'd have to ask the people that are negotiating it. I did not agree with us getting involved in this in the first place. Do you think the MFP payments are going to be adequate well, or I think be more enough? Than the damage. I think the MFP payments are more than we were damaged in the China market. <laughs> but we got other problems besides that. You know. Including? Well, I mean, the, the, the market going away for uh, uh, soybean meal in China because the hogs dying and you know, a lot of other issues. Uh, so, you know, I had an economist send me something across the desk last week who claims that um, we're going to have low prices for nine years. So what do you think is going to happen then? And the new dairy program looks like it's going to be helpful to keep dairy farmers in business? It is helpful if people would figure out how to use it. They've got this thing that it's all about how much money comes from the government. And that's not what this is about. This is about a safety net. If people can't get it through their heads, they say, well, if we don't get any money from the government, we're not going to sign up. Well, that's completely the wrong attitude and the wrong way to look at it. Thanks so much for joining us. Chairman Colin Peterson, House Ag Committee Chair.